Hi, I'm Terry Churchill, financial coach, and I am here to talk to you about Christmas. And you might think, why are you talking about Christmas this time of year? Well, as you know, when you think about Christmas, we, a lot of people think about different things, but most of us think of things like lights and decorations. We think of uh, get togethers with family, maybe going to church to celebrate the birth of Christ. All of, there's a lot of things that are um, common that we think of, but everyone maybe is a little bit different. People decorate differently. Some people do a tree, some people don't. Um, but there are some things that are common to Christmas, and one of those things is money. So that's what I want to talk to you about today. Because when Christmas time comes, a lot of times money can be kind of stressful at that time of year because we spend more than we do every other month of the year. Usually December is more expensive because of the gift giving and all the activities and all the extra groceries and baking. So I want to share with you a way to make money at Christmas time way less stressful and actually really fun and enjoyable. So what you're going to do is make a plan. And I know that just sounds like, ugh, drudgery, but it's actually not too bad and it won't take you too long. All you need is a sheet of paper and a pen. And I want you to write down and brainstorm everything that you spend money on around Christmas time that you don't usually spend money on during the rest of the year. So categories would include gifts, activities, entertaining, which would mean hosting, uh, extra groceries for baking, maybe hostess gifts if you go to you know activities, um, anything like that that you're going to spend at Christmas time. I want you to brainstorm. Maybe go through your calendar from last year and look at the things that you did, and think about okay, what did I need for those things, or who did it? What did I go to that I needed to bring a gift or that cost me money? Maybe you participate in a secret Santa at, at work. Also think about extra giving. What extra causes do you give to at Christmas time? Maybe it's your church, maybe it's at work, maybe it's a, um, a nonprofit that you like to help out during that time of year, but think of all of those things. All right, so now that you've brainstormed everything that you um, spend money on at Christmas, including every single person that you buy a gift for, you have that all written out. Now go through and assign a dollar amount to each one of those things, to every gift, to every giving, to your Christmas baking, and just do your best. If you don't know for sure, just give it your best guess and tally it all up and what is your total. If that total amount is $600, then I want you to create a separate fund and put $100 a month in that until Christmas time comes and that's what you use for all of those things. For When you buy uh, groceries for baking, take it out of that fund. When you buy a gift, take it out of that fund. Now, maybe it, $600 is way too low. Maybe your total is $1,200 when you add it all up. Then you would want to put, obviously, $200 a month aside until Christmas, uh, until the Christmas shopping starts. Now, if you total everything up and you think, okay, I want to spend $100 on this person and $200 on that person, and all of a sudden you come up with this amount and it's like $6,000, you might want to go back and revisit some of those and think, okay, do I really need to spend $100 on that gift or would a $50 gift be good enough? Or maybe it's a $50 gift and you know what, $25 would be plenty for that gift. Uh, maybe I, maybe instead of baking, you know, $1,000 worth of groceries on baking, Christmas baking, I could cut that in half and still have fun and still have plenty of, of baking on, on hand. So those are the kind of things that you do. And you, that's really just a budget. A budget is just a plan. And that's all you're doing is making a plan for what you know is going to happen. You know Christmas is going to come. You know you're, it's going to cost money. So instead of putting it on a credit card or having it stress out your monthly, normal monthly spending, you can have a plan for it. It makes it really fun. Now, the added thing, the one added bonus, I would say, to this plan is what we have always done since we started this. Actually, not always, but after the first year, we realized, wow, what's really fun for us when we're out shopping is to buy ourselves something once in a while. Or maybe after a long day of shopping, go out to dinner, just my husband and I. So make it a date night. So we put a little extra. So if our, if our budget or our plan for Christmas is $100 a month, we put an extra $10 or $20 in that account every month. We do it all year long for 12 months. But when we first started, we started in the summer and we just started putting money aside for those six months. But 
after that first year, like I said, we started putting a little extra every month and then it makes it really fun and enjoyable because we can buy each other little gifts while we're out or we can go out to dinner, like I said, and enjoy it and it doesn't have to come out of that regular spending. It's set aside just for that and it makes it so much more relaxing and so much more fun. So I hope this has been helpful. I hope that you try this out, even if you can't figure out all down to the detail that you just try it this year, do your best and have a blast with it. I think you'll find that Christmas is so much more enjoyable when you plan for it and you make a plan with your money for it. All right, enjoy.